A bill recognizing the organization of Ukrainian nationalists and the Ukrainian insurgent army as combatants in the Second World War has been registered for debate in Ukraine's parliament. The way is open for discussion in the Verkhovna Rada of activities by two organizations charged at the Nuremberg post-war trials for collaboration with the forces of Nazi Germany. The Donetsk People's Republic has started paying the pensions, Deputy Minister of Labor and Social Policy Sergei Timofeyev said on Monday. The payment activities coincided with the Ukrainian authorities' statement saying they stop all budget allocation to uncontrollable East Ukrainian areas from December 1st. The build-up of NATO forces in Eastern Europe is hostile and destabilizes the Baltic, once the safest region in Europe, a senior Russian diplomat charged. By bringing in more weapons to Eastern Europe, some of them have high destructive power. The North Atlantic Alliance is undermining regional security, Russia's deputy foreign minister told Interfax. What are NATO military commander in Europe, Philip Bridlov, and the likes of him doing? They are trying to shake up the most stable region in the world, which is Europe's north. Those endless military exercises, rebasing of aircraft capable of delivering nuclear weapons to the Baltic nations. This is the reality, a very negative one, he said. The nations of Eastern Europe are increasingly feeling the pressure from both the US and the EU to sanction Russia. As a result, Serbia, Hungary and Bulgaria have become new battleground states in the confrontation between Russia and the West. For example, Serbia has found itself under increasing pressure by the EU to join sanctions on Russia. It is important for the EU to get Serbia to join in sanctioning Russia, as Serbia and Russia have long had cultural and religious ties. In sanctioning Russia, Serbia would be making a statement that despite in spite of the cultural and religious ties, Russia is in the wrong in its handling of Ukraine, while the AU is in the right. This would be even more powerful statement since NATO was bombing Serbia over Kosovo just 15 years ago. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.